What is the conductive system of the heart? Look, the heart is a special organ. They can produce its own electrical impulse. So that newly produced impulse that produced within the heart should be have a conductive system. Meaning, cable they produce within the heart and they should go to one atrium to other atrium, one atrium to other ventricle through a conductive system. This conductive system is very important because it consists of nodular tissue that control the heartbeat. It initiates heartbeat. Heart ras on contract, relax la madrak, initiate yadar kidana. And it also gives coordination of contraction of four chamber. And it is highly specialized conducting fiber for conducting them rapidly to different area of the heart. Within this system, the main peacemaker rate of the main peacemaker. Peacemaker means newly produced without anything. Yalaminam nagar maftar marathi. Peacemaker marathi. Namsale fatari alamin kaminam nagar fatar andami palokudu. Electrical impulse of the heart is produced without anything. Yalaminam nagar maftar peacemaker ipara. So the main peacemaker rhythm of the heart is generated and influenced by the nerve. But there is nervous systemic nervous sympathetic parasympathetic and natural way to center and peacemaker the rhythm of peacemaker is controlled by rhythm between my rhythm at rain contract marriage with intricate contract marriage but rhythm so that rhythm is mainly controlled by them but the conductive system of the heart electrical impulse that produced by a conductive system of the heart is does not get from the nervous system completely produced within the heart because of that we can say that the peacemaker 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 <coughs> so the first peacemaker the first site of peacemaker of the first site of electrical impulse produ production is c node or sc node this is the there is c and atrial that find atrial at the atrial the located anterolateral is just deep to the epicardium at the junction of superior vena cava and right artery. So if you wanted to get a C node, you should get superior vena cava first. And at the junction of superior vena cava and right artery, you can get a CA node. This SA node is the first node that initiates electrical impulse that's important for contraction of heart. So, this SA node determines the heart rate. If the electrical impulses are produced from SA node, the heartbeat, the average heartbeat is around 70 times per minute. So, let's look at the question. I mean, some, 70 times, 70 beats per minute, when the market is not produced, the market is not produced. Because SA node can generate impulse 70 times per minute 70 times per minute without any initiation without any initiation of SA node so SA node is the peacemaker of the peacemaker of electrical impulse look this picture show so this is a SA node this is a right heart ray this is a superior vena cava so at the junction of superior vena cava and right eye train, you can get a SA node. So the SA node produces electrical impulse action potential and send towards to the right eye train. From right eye train directly goes to right, I mean left eye train. Finally, finally, this impulse is reached at every node. This is every node, at three ventricular node, other nodes. We'll see another picture. Look, there is a C node here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
this is SA node. The SA node produce electrical impulse and send towards to AV node. So the AV node receive electrical impulse that produce from SA node. If there is any failure in SA node, the AV node can produce electrical impulse. But the rate of electrical impulse that produce from the atrioventricular node less than the rate of electrical impulse that produce within SA node. So the electrical impulse that reach from SA node to AV node, the AV node should go should send should send towards to the bundle, which is called atrioventricular bundle. Why this bundle is need? Why this bundle is important for conduction of the impulse? As I told you that there is a fibrous ring. Here is a fibrous ring. The atrioventricular fibrous ring. This fibrous ring, this fibrous ring protect this fibrous ring protects the direct transmission of electrical impulse that produce from SA node to a ventric. So let's see. The fibrous ring, many other gamma let know, atrium with a ventricle in middle. Electrical conduction system block arago because the fibrous rings are they are insulator for electrical impulse. So it needs what? It needs the atrioventricular bundle. So the electrical impulse that come from the atrioventricular bundle should be divided at the level of said interventricular membranes into the right and left branches of atrioventricular bundle. So the electrical impulse also should go to, to the apex of the heart with the apex area. At the level of apex, they become what? Parkanji fiber. But the right side of the right ventricle first enter into the myocardium of the right ventricle. The electrical impulse first enter into moderatory band. After moderatory band or septo marginal trabiculae, it goes to the Parkanji fiber. Those are Perkinje fibers, and those Perkinje fiber directly enter into the cardiac muscle cells. So the conduction, the electrical impulse, the electrical impulse that produce from a SA node should go to a V node, and some signals should go to the atrium muscles and the left atrium muscles, and these impulses goes to every every bundle the every bundle divided into right and left branches of every bundle finally the every bundle give per kind of final so the electrical impulse that produced from sa node should uh, stimulate the contraction and relaxation states of cardiac muscles of the ventricle this is a conduction system of the heart how the electrical impulse is produced from a sa node and sometimes every node and goes to cardiac muscles. Innervation of the heart. The heart can innervate by autonomic nerve system, mainly that uh, originate from the cardiac plexus and pulmonary trunk plexus. So the heart has uh, uh, controlled by the, mainly the SA node is controlled by sympathetic and parasympathetic innervations. So the sympath this is the heart, the nerve, the yellow color is the nerve. So this yellow color is the nerve. There is aortic plexus and pulmonary plexus. So the plexus from the aortic and the plexus, plexus means a collection of nerve, okay? Plexus means a collection of nerve. So the plexus that is come from uh, that uh, pulmonary trunk and plexus that is formed from the aortic plexus, they send nerve towards to SA node. This is SA node side. So the SA node controlled by the rhythm of SA node is controlled by sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation of the brain. So the sympathetic innervation, sympathetic stimulation of the heart, it increases the heart rate. 
so it it increases the heart rate so sympathetic means fight and flight when there is sympathetic stimulation it increases the heart rate that means it increases the production of a synod electrical impulse due to that the heart beat is increased so it increases the heart rate and sympathetic stimulation also impulse conduction it increases impulse conduction it increases the force of conduction contraction of the heart it increases the blood flow towards to the coronary vessels as well as towards to the peripheral blood generally sympathetic stimulation can increase the workload workload of the heart it increases the heart rate of the heart so sympathetic stimulation it can cause fight and flight types of uh, conditions the parasympathetic stimulate is to give relaxation state so the parasympathetic innervation it slows the heart the opposites of sympathetic innervation the opposites of sympathetic innervation it slows the heart rate it reduces force of contraction it reduces blood flow towards the coronary artery as well as the body that means generally parasympathetic stimulation is decrease the workload of the heart the workload of the heart conducting system of the heart components the conducting system of the heart is made up of specialized cardiac muscle fibers and is responsible for initiation and conduction of cardiac impulse the conducting system of the heart consists of the following five components sinoatrial node atrioventricular node atrioventricular bundle right and left branches of bundle of his subendocardial purkinje fibers sinoatrial node sinoatrial node is also known as node of keith flack it is a small horseshoe shaped mass having specialized myocardial fibers situated in the wall of the right atrium in the upper part of sulcus terminalis just below the opening of the superior vena cava it is known as pacemaker of the heart because it generates impulses about 70 per minute and initiates the contraction of cardiac muscle producing a heartbeat atrioventricular node is also known as node of tawara it is smaller than the sa node and is located in the lower part of the atrial septum just above the attachment of septal cusp of the tricuspid valve or opening of the coronary sinus it conducts the cardiac impulse to the ventricle by the atrioventricular bundle the av node is capable of generating impulses at a rate of about 60 per minute the speed of conduction of cardiac impulse which is about 0.11 seconds provides sufficient time to the atria to empty their blood into the ventricle before ventricles start contracting atrioventricular bundle it begins from the av node crosses the av ring and runs along the inferior part of the membranous part of the interventricular septum where it divides into the left and right branches since the skeleton which is a fibrous framework of the heart separates the muscles of atria from the muscles of the ventricles the bundle of his is the only means of conducting impulses from the atria to the ventricles right and left branches of the bundle of his the right branch passes down to the right side of the interventricular septum and then becomes subendocardial on the right side of the septum a large part of it continues in the septomarginal trabeculum to reach the anterior papillary muscle and anterior wall of the ventricle its purkinje fibers then spread out beneath the endocardium the left branch descends on the left side of the ventricular septum divides into purkinje fibers which are distributed to the septum and left ventricle purkinje fibers they are the terminal branches of the right and left branches of the bundle of his and spread subendocardially over the septum and the rest of the ventricular wall the conducting system and mode of contraction of cardiac muscle is summarized as follows the sa node a spontaneous source of cardiac impulse initiates an impulse which rapidly spreads to the muscles of the atria making them contract the av node 
picks up the cardiac impulse from atria and conducts it through the atrioventricular bundle and its branches to the papillary muscles and the walls of the ventricles. The papillary muscles contract first to tighten the chordae tendinae and then the contraction of the ventricular muscle occurs. Arterial supply of the conducting system. The whole of the conducting system of the heart is supplied by the right coronary artery except a part of the left branch of the AV bundle which is supplied by the left coronary artery. Let us see the surface anatomy of the heart. When you see one person outside, how do you know this side is find the right ventricle, this side is we can find the, uh, the right ventricle here, the left ventricle here, pulmonary artery here. How do you know? This normal commercial illness, so there's a call to know. Z bota lay, binoga, we mean bota binai, right ventricle, left ventricle, genyan yalam, and nagarin chilala. So the superior border, look, the surface of anatomy mainly is a pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve is fine, the left side is sternocostal junction. The aortic valve, the aortic valve is fine, the left side intercostal space. The mitral valve is fine on the left for sternal costal junction. The tricuspid valve is fine at the fourth intercostal near the middle lines. So how do you hear, how do you know the site of mitral valve in auscultation? The stethoscope, when the auscultation or the stethoscope, how, how, how can get the sound of sound of S1 and S2 sound uh, based on a valve sites? For example, if we want to hear the heart sound at the site of mitral valve, we should put our stethoscope at the fifth left intercostal space. Why? At this fifth left intercostal space, at the level of mid-clavicular line, we can get the mitral valve closure sound. Mitral valve closure sound. So the sound that produced from the mitral valve, we can get at the fifth left intercostal space. If we want to sound that produced by tricuspid valve closure, we should put our stethoscope on the four or fives, the fourth or the fifth left intercostal space, near to the sternum, near to the sternum. If we want to hear, if you want to hear pulmonary valve closure sound, when the pulmonary valve is closed, and if you want to hear the pulmonary valve closure sound, we should put our stethoscope on second intercostal space near to the sternum. On what side? On the left side. Left, second intercostal space, near to the sternum. If you put our stethoscope, we can get pulmonary valve closure side. If we, if we want to hear the aortic closure sound, aortic valve closure sound, we should put our stethoscope on the second intercostal space on the right side near to the sternum. So based on this side, we can appreciate the sound that produced due to valvular closure based on our stethoscopes. This is surface anatomy, but um, Yandandun ye closure, ye valve closure sound, menadam the betna, kazam sound un detect arga. This patient can have valvular heart disease. Ye valve ye mezagat with the valvular stenosis, valvular insufficiency in disease of charu pet velamanagar, ye mias children. For example, this picture shows some sites related to valvular closure. For example, is tricuspide valve site. This is, I mean, tricuspid bulb site. And uh, the sound from the, that migrate from tricuspid bulb, bulbular sound, we can hear uh, fourth or fifth intercostal space near to the sternum. This is aortic bulb. So the sound should move towards the right aortic, the right second intercostal space 
نيتو لستر ذيس از بلومناري بال سو ذا ساوند ذات از اوريجينيتد فروم ذا بلومناري بال شود شيفت توردس تو ذا ليفت سكند تركوستال سبيس نيتو لستر ذيس از ميترال بال ذيس ميترال بال دورينج ذا ميترال بال كلوجر ذا ساوند شيفت توردس تو وير ذا pores intercostal space at mid clavicular line بزيغا stethoscope of chachin and bin ask amid we can appreciate the sound that produce from the closure of the bulb the bulb and closure my dad so this is uh, <coughs> look this is a uh, aortic valve so when the aortic valve is closed we can hear the sound as second intercostal space aortic valve this is our pulmonary valve when the pulmonary valve closed the sound is here at the second intercostal space in to the star this is mitral valve a mitral valve no when the mitral valve is closed there is a sound shift towards to the fifth intercostal space 9 cm from the sternum this is pulmonary valve i mean i mean tricuspid valve when the tricuspid valve closed the sound shift towards to the left the fourth intercostal space so if you put here your stethoscope we can hear tricuspid valve sound tricuspid valve closure sounds that means s1 and s2 Borders of the heart. The heart has the following borders. The right border. The left border. The upper border. And the lower border. The right border of the heart extends from the third right costal cartilage to the sixth right costal cartilage. The left border of the heart extends from the second left costal cartilage to the fifth left intercostal space in the midclavicular line. The lower border of the heart is located from the sixth right costal cartilage to the fifth left intercostal space midclavicular line. The upper border of the heart extends from the second left costal cartilage to the third right costal cartilage. Heart valves. Pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve is located at the third left costal cartilage retrosternally. Aortic valve. The aortic valve is located at the third left intercostal space retrosternally. The mitral valve. The mitral valve is located at the fourth left costal cartilage retrosternally. The tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is located at the fourth right intercostal space retrosternally. Auscultation points. Pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve is best heard at the second left intercostal space. Aortic valve. The aortic valve is best heard at the second right intercostal space. The mitral valve. The mitral valve is best heard at the fifth left intercostal space mid clavicular line. Apex beat. Palpate the apex beat 
at the fifth left intercostal space in the midclavicular line. The tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is best heard at the fourth left intercostal space 